What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Nandan. I'm a senior in industrial engineering and economics. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about Notion and how you can effectively use it to up your productivity tenfold. I'll walk you through my entire Notion setup, detailing everything from task tracking, cost keeping, and even how I use it as a second brain-ish, you know. So without further ado, let's jump in. Now I created a life wiki page, which basically houses everything I need to be productive in all aspects of life. This system runs off of two main databases. One is the idea dump and second is the task list. The idea dump is basically a place where I list down any ideas I have at any point in time that I will work on at a later time. The master task list on the other hand jots down ideas I have for a particular day or for an entire week itself. In Notion, we can link these databases almost anywhere we want. Now, given that this is too much information to do all at once, we need to break this down into little bite-sized chunks so it's easier to handle. Firstly, career stuff. This is the place where I track all of my job applications and also track companies I find interesting so I can apply to them at a later date, possibly. I also need a place to focus on all of my internship work that I have whenever that happens. Now this can be shared with a team or just be used individually. Second is creativity stuff. I need a place to manage all of my YouTube ideas that basically stem from the idea dump that I will then create tasks for in the master task list. Now I did do a similar thing for the blogs but that didn't quite pan out as well. Nevertheless, it pretty much works the same way as this YouTube page that I'll show you later. Third is class stuff and possibly the most important reason and the main reason for sure that I created this entire system in the first place. I need a place where I can effectively track my classwork and create notes at the same time. This will help me organize my tasks by week and prioritize them so I can get my classwork done fast. There's a couple more things I need. Firstly, the flight training tracker. Now I need a place to track anything related to flying, which basically includes mainly a cost breakdown, but also bucket list flights and uh, you know, lesson recordings if I want to see that at a later point. Two, a place to write stuff. It's sort of like a journal or just an open place to plan stuff. And the third most interesting thing is the second brain or like a place to track interesting resources. You know, stuff like articles, videos, and lectures that I see that I think are value added and may help me in the future. And while I'm at it, I might as well create my personal website here too. Now I know what you're thinking. How does all of this tie together in the first place? Now what makes Notion so powerful is the ability to add tags, create pages and links almost any way you want. And this little clicky thing, which is it's, so interesting. Notion helps you effectively organize hierarchical content rather than just staring at one big block of text, which let's be honest, you're never gonna see again. Now there are three main things that help drive the system smoothly. First is the master task list, then the idea dump, and the notebook, all of which works synergistically. Think of it this way, you have an idea and you decide to work on it. You then create tasks to help you effectively tackle this idea. But in creating tasks and while you're doing tasks, basically you realize you need more info and then you put that into the notebook section. In reading the notebook, multiple pages of the notebook itself, you realize that there's more information here to create one more idea. So in creating that idea, you then create more tasks and then more notebook pages that you can then seamlessly link together with all of these databases. All of this sounds good in theory, but how can you actually put it to use? My primary focus when using Notion is getting my class work done, but the workflow that I'm going to show you is pretty much applicable to any category you need because all databases use filtering, sorting, and tagging. So starting off with the classes section, I basically split it into two subsections, one that shows you this filtered task list and another one that's basically a database for writing class notes. The notes section has checkboxes for reviewing these. It's something about like space repetition that you can see from Thomas Frank and Ali Abdal. They have great videos on. So the task list section has multiple views to effectively visualize these tasks. I keep the page on the custom board view that organizes my tasks by class. Now it currently shows the next week and the past week tasks that have not been done yet or abandoned. These are then sorted by due date and priority to rank the important immediate tasks first. Now, the Kanban view shows the same stuff, but in terms of my actual workload, like the things that I have to do, things that I'm doing, and things I've done. The calendar view then augments this by visualizing the timeline a little bit better. Taking a look at the main task list database, we can see the properties that are tied to each task. Your status, due date, category, and urgency are ones that primarily define a task. So the other two basically form a relationship between the task, the idea, and the notebook. Remember the three main things I said that drive this? Let's take a better look at how these are related. Keep in mind that these workflows can be adapted to your needs. So to recap, the two main things you need to make this work are ideas and tasks. I've linked to both the databases under that little toggly stuff there. So let's just get started with this. Let's say I had an idea to make a video about Notion and I write that down. I can now open this as a page and I've said I'm currently wireframing this idea, which is a fancy way of saying I'm outlining it. And I now write some comments about what this video is about. This helps when you randomly just have an idea that you want to get out of your head, but you want to work on it later. 
but now that I have the time, I've created some tasks that I need to do to get this video out. If you go to that specific task, you can see a little bit more information about it. For example, when it's due, how urgent it is, and so on. You can also see that it automatically linked to that new page when we made it in the idea book. I can create a notebook entry which will then automatically link to this task, so I'm going to do so so I can write the script for this video on that. To get a broader view of how busy I am, I can then go back to the master task list and take a look at the calendar view to see the timeline a little bit better. Seeing that I have the time to do this, let's get started. Okay, so using the system, we can now connect our ideas, tasks, and notebooks a little bit better. <laughs> it's pretty cool, right? So now that we have a better idea of how these databases work together, let's take a look at a couple of the extras. Firstly, job application stuff. So honestly, it's kind of aesthetic and the tagging helps you keep track in a very, very functional way. But what I think is most interesting about this is that in the long run, you can take a look at the companies you find interesting and identify trends and characteristics that you seek for in a company. And maybe that might be useful at some point. Secondly is the work page. This is used for any internship stuff, but it's pretty much has the same functionality as classes. So I won't even show it much. Third and by far most interesting interesting thing is the interesting resources section or the second brain. I have an interesting quote I want to read on this because it's interesting. A second brain is a methodology for saving and systematically reminding us of ideas, inspirations, insights, and connections we've gained through experience. Now my version of this is rather simplistic. I just throw the name of the thing I like, a certain, like a couple of tags about it and the link to it. In some cases, I also write more information on it, like create a separate page. So in this case, for the freelance development thing, I've created timestamps that I can then link to so I can easily see exactly what I want to. Next is the flight training section. This page mainly reminds me not to go broke. I'm posting a couple of ratings right now, so keeping track of these costs and using tags to help me separate different ratings is really helpful. You could use it to sort between your expenses for like groceries versus something else, I guess. And while we're at it, I decided to create a personal website using this. And why is that? Because one, Notion has a cool gallery view that you can use like this. So if you have a cover image, you can just click on it and get a new page. More importantly, I've used it for that little toggly stuff. See, there's a lot of stuff that I want to explain because it is my personal website, but if you don't want to see it, that's understandable. If you do, you can click on that little toggly thing and it'll show you more information about that particular section. I find that pretty cool. So I've just included it in this. All right, so we have covered a ton of stuff in this video. So to recap, here's what my life looks like. Each category like classes, work, etc., is driven by three main things, which is your idea dump, the master task list, and the notebook. Using filtering, tagging, and sorting, we can extract the relevant bits of information that we need at a particular point in time, thereby making you more productive. Well, so what are your next steps here? Well, I'd say firstly, identify what you want to use Notion for and how you think it can help you. Look at a couple of templates on the Notion website, or there are like a ton of good free ones. I've also linked to a couple down if you want to use those. I gave up on Notion the first time because it's too complex to use, understandably so. But once you just mess around with Notion, spend an evening doing so, hopefully you realize that this is a powerful tool. Anyway, thank you guys so much for spending this time with me. I hope you took some value from this video. And if you did, consider subscribing, commenting, or liking this video because it helps the algorithm like send this out to people like you who like this. Um, if you gain value from this, consider sharing it with a couple other people. That would help. All right, that's it for this week. I'm gonna see you next week.